Good evening, and welcome to Bellows Free Academy Theater Company's first ever virtual performance of the Brothers Grimm Spectaculathon. Please clap at your homes and create a brilliant. but I am no way responsible for it alone because these students advocated hard to make this happen. Back in September, they wanted to meet. We met in the park. We auditioned for this play in the park. They chose this play. They wanted to do a comedy, something fun and something light that could be a gift to the community and fun for them. Um, so we have had far fewer rehearsals than we normally would, all masked and distanced, and um, we have worked very hard in this past week, extra hours, to bring you this exciting performance that we really hope you enjoy. So at this time, I would like to make sure that you do turn off your cell phones, put away distracting devices and, and other screens that you have around, get yourselves your snacks and your drinks now, because there will not be a commercial break. Um, and please give your full attention to this performance. I want to make you aware that watching a recorded theatrical performance is a very, very different thing than watching a performance live or watching a film that is intended to be shown this way. And my hope is that it be a little experiment for you to see what it feels like to watch a theatrical, a theatrical performance this way and uh, perhaps might make you value what it is to sit in a room with a group of people and watch live theater, and also value the incredible resilience of these BFA theater students. So without further ado, I bring you the Brothers Grimm Spectacular. Anyway, season 
might not be household names, but many of these stories have become immortalized in film and television. Of course they've all been changed by the mouse to feed their enormous octopus-like animation empire, which sucks the life out of existence and crushes your soul in a death of a happy, happy songs and shocking objects. <laughs> I can't even speak their name aloud because they're looking for a way to sue me right now. You won't win! My uncle's a lawyer! He defended OJ! That means I can kill anyone I want and never get caught! Okay. Now, what we are going to do here for you today is return these fairy tales to their original glory. We have assembled the I thought there was supposed to be catering back here. There's a beef thing somewhere. Where? I don't know. The back somewhere. Is there anything to drink? No. <laughs> These actors are so inspired. I don't see it. Do you see the radiator? No. Oh, uh, uh, oh, wait. No? Someone's probably sitting on it. Move them. Oh, here it is. Hey! Anyway, in just a short amount of time, we have our crack team of actors is going to perform all 209 fairy tales of the Brothers Grimm. That's like three stories per minute! Or a different number, if you actually know math. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to perform them as originally intended. What? Violence! Death! People being cut open with scissors! <laughs> and to make things more difficult, we're going to pr perform them in a very special order. That it's all one gigantic mega superstory that'll rock your world. Are you ready? I'm so excited. I'm going to throw up. Does <laughs> anyone have a hat? <laughs> no? Excuse me. Jeff Fighter, but rich enough. 
and I ask only one small thing in return. Sounds perfect. Don't you want to know what that one small thing is? No, I trust you. Very <laughs> glad. It was a great day for the girl. She fell in love with a prince. Hey, you. You're pretty hot. I am hot. Let's get married. Score. And they grew very rich. Oops. Hey, look. I just tripped over a bag of money. What are the odds? <laughs> Score! And they conceived a child. Whoa. I'm that happy. Well, you see, kids, when a prince and a princess love each other very Prince much. Through magic. The magic of the devil. And that's where babies come from. <laughs> ah! Push. The baby's coming! Push! Breathe! I am breathing! How would I not be breathing? I would dead if I wasn't breathing! You need to think before you speak! You can do it, honey! I hate you! 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 Oh, he's so beautiful. Here's Cat. And she grew into a beautiful young teenager, Rapunzel. Come on. Seriously going with Rapunzel? I honestly like family. That was the name of your ex-girlfriend. Ma, we were just friends, you know that. Then why do you save her letters? Oh, Lord. Are you seriously gonna go home public with your hair like that? Shut up! <laughs> Darling, we're gonna have dinner soon, so wash your hands, please. You can't tell me what to do. You don't own me. Hey, don't you talk to your mother that way. She sold her soul to the devil just like I don't it. care. I didn't ask to be born. I'm going out. You are not walking out of this house, young lady. <laughs> so, I'm going to go hang with the frog prince. Come on. We all know he's used to you just to get some action. You're going to get warts. Warts. He loves me. I don't care if he's green and slimy. I'm not going to listen to this any longer. I'm going to go play some golf instead. We're going to run away together, and have tadpoles, and then just them. I have returned. Your time is up. <clears throat> you know, I was just passing through the neighborhood, and I was thinking that I forgot something like 18 years ago. And then there I was, right at your house. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Fine. What do you want? You're a child. Um, my lady was first that I was just gonna get her to the middle of the night to her touch. And shot her.
you know what? This is stupid. If you sign this contract, you can have Rapunzel. That sounds like a plan. Some clue about what to do. 
Don't go in there! Huh? Let's go in there. <laughs> They're really tasty. Ugh. I'm so disappointed in today's young people. I'm going to have to teach you a lesson by eating you. Eating us? Hmm. But not right now. I'm going to fatten you up first. So Hansel and Gretel were locked away and forced fed sugar water like mice. And they got fatter and fatter. And then they died a, li a little bit. But then they got fatter again, until one day. Why does my cologne smell like gravy? Well, my pretties, and except you, the boy. You have more of a rugged masculinity about you. Thanks. <laughs> well, I need some help cleaning out my oven. I'll take volunteers. Anyone? Oh, me. Excellent. Come along, Hamsel. It's Hansel. Yeah, right, whatever, Hansel. <laughs> Can you put this apple in your mouth, please? No problem. Great. Now, if you'll just crawl in here. Don't go in there! Oh, hey, I dropped a quarter. Can you pick it up, please? A quarter? Eat this, bitch! Ah, I'm melting! Oh, oh wait, I'm burning! <laughs> well, I'm glad that's over with. Let's eat your house! And so they made it, but the horror wasn't over. Hey Gretel, I was talking to some bad kids down by the park behind the school. I don't like those bad kids. And they're telling me that drugs are cool. Drugs aren't cool? Come on, Gretel. All the cool kids are doing it. What is it? It's fairy dust. Everyone's doing it. It lets you fly. I don't want to fly. No. Fine. I'll do it myself then. And he jumped off a cliff. I can fly. Maybe. It's up to you, audience. If you clap hard enough, Hans will live. several supernatural entities who would imprison <laughs> their daughter in a tower. But there's always a but. One question remains. Where did the witch come from? Funny you should ask. Once upon a time, there was a dwarf. Um, excuse me, but I prefer the term little person. In fact, two dwarves. 
I prefer dwarf. And these dwarves worked all day in the mines. I've been working on the railroad yep. mines. Whistle while you work. We can't Thank use you. that song. I do what I want? No, it's like copyrighted. We actually can't use it. So the dwarves worked in the mines and they sang their little songs until one day they came home to find. What the hell is that thing? She's huge! Get her away from me! She's going to eat me! You see, in those days, most people were cannibals. Which explains the witch from earlier. <laughs> but the first dwarf, who we will name Dopey, no, Slappy, wasn't afraid. Gah! I like ladies. So, uh, baby, I can't help but noticing that you're in my bed. Hey, 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 this is a, this is a, this is a kid's show. Oh, so I'm gonna chop you up and eat you. Oh, time out, time out. What? I'm just doing what my character wants. You do not get to eat Snow White. You're not the villain of a story. No, look, after doing some hard character work, Slappy has a hard life. He works, he's been discriminated against for being a dwarf. He works in the mines all day. He's got like uh, the black lung, you know? And he just hates the world, just hates it. He does not. And he wants revenge against the humans who have wronged him. So when this giant chick comes into his home and sleeps in his bed, dinner time. No, we're doing the story as originally written, okay? Snow White gets poisoned by an apple, uh, and then she cleans the house of the dwarves, uh, and then a prince shows up, and then... Why do I have to clean the house? Is it because I'm a woman? Yes. No, 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 no. It's because you feel sorry for the little dwarves because they're messy and you're a neat freak and want to make everything nice. I don't see why I have to be the maid here. I'm a princess. They should be cleaning up after me. All right, she's become too much trouble. Let's eat her. No, we're doing the story as originally written. You know what? Maybe we should just let them rewrite the story. Don't start now. No, I don't think so. All right. I've got another one. I've been cursed by a witch and have been given supernatural powers. Well, sometimes the originals are, how do I say this, bad. Oh, really? These stories are classics. Classics! And now I can reanimate zombies. I've always wanted to reanimate zombies. Zo classics? I'll show you a classic. Here we go, number 191, Lean Lisa. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Am I beautiful? You're lean. Oh, skinny. I've always wanted to be skinny. Have you ever thought about ingesting tapeworms? It really cleans you out no, on the inside. No, no, no. Okay, so one day, Lean Lisa lay in bed with her husband, Long Lawrence. Do I get to be Long Lawrence? Yes. Sweet. Never heard of it. Lisa, the audacity. Dear husband, I was thinking. I'm trying to sleep, woman. I'm tired of being poor and hungry. What if, and hear me out, what if we took the cow into the field and tried to get her to have calves? Then we could raise those calves and sell them, and then we'd have enough money to buy more animals. Then we wouldn't have to starve anymore. This sounds like a lot of work. You're lazy. Quiet your wagon tongue, woman. And she died. The end. Really? That's how it goes? It says it right here. Wow. That story sucks. <laughs> Can I tell my version now? I mean, at this point. Are y'all gonna need me anytime soon? Yeah. <laughs> We're starting over right now. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl. Mm. You. You're gonna be Snow White this time. <laughs> really? I've always wanted to be Snow White. I remember my fifth birthday party. It was a dress-up party, and all my friends came as Boba Fett and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and that weird thing from the McDonald's commercials. But I was Snow White, and I was so pretty in my little dress and my wig and tiara. That was the happiest day of my life until my mom told me I was a boy. Of course, she's the one who'd been dressing me in those clothes since uh, I... And moving on. And she was the most beautiful girl in the entire kingdom. I am. 
I am the prettiest. But her stepmother was jealous. Snow White? Stepmother? Is that a zit I see on your face? You'd like that, wouldn't you? I do believe you're putting on weight. <laughs> Not on this body, sister. These curves are tight and streamlined like a racing yacht owned by a rich Colombian drug dealer. <laughs> well, you may want to think about plucking your eyebrows. They're looking a little bit puffy. My eyebrows are sculpted like a block of clay in the hands of a blind god of sculpting eyebrows. Who writes this stuff? Just go with it. <laughs> and so the stepmother went to her room and gazed into her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Well, it's certainly not you. Curses. Hey, that's a good idea. You should totally try that. Meanwhile, Snow White had other plans. Mirror, mirror hanging on black hooks. Why must I be judged by my looks? Hmm. Fashion magazines. <laughs> But I'm so much more. I've got brains and martial arts skills. I'm going to one of the seven sisters after I graduate from high school where I plan on majoring in social psychology and women's studies. I only respond to rhyming questions. Besides, those aren't even real majors. <laughs> Fine. Near and near hanging over there. How do I make the young people care? Put it in a music video with hot chicks. That's not very good. And just then, it was her stepmother. Stepmother? Snow White. What? No. Snow White? Stepmother. Look at me, and no despair, Snow White, for I have a lot of money. I've gone through a lot of plastic surgery in Hollywood. My bus point north, and my skin is as smooth as a lake after a storm, and I've lasered off all of my tattoos. I've tucked, sucked, vacuumed, and erased every visible trace of life experience in the past 27 years, and now I'm more beautiful than even you. Not quite. Dang it. How about an apple as a peace offering? When are you going to learn, stepmother, that we women shouldn't be judged by our surface beauty, but rather by the content of our brains? <laughs> That's just stupid. Well, how about I use my martial arts skills to take you out then? Oh, it's on. <laughs> hey, oh, I was just Yay! in the neighborhood looking for a girl in a coma to make out with. Oh, it, it's a chick fight. <laughs> was a glorious battle. A titanic struggle of good and evil, purity versus corruption. Until finally, I shall transform myself into a black dragon. Wait, wait, wait. That was in the Sleeping Beauty movie. I thought we were doing Sleeping Beauty. No, this is Snow White. Take that, witch! Ah, I'm melting! I'm bleeding! Ah! That was so hot. Like somebody else I know, Prince. You're very forward. I'm a modern woman. Come on, let's get married. And so, and so they lived happily ever after and avoided traditional gender roles. But wait, what happened to the dwarf? <gasps> hi ho! Hi ho! What did you just call me? Uh, nothing. I'm, look, I'm living with a bunch of dwarves here. I've heard enough! You're lucky enough to become my servants. Come with me. Yay! And so the dwarves cooked for them, cleaned the house, and did all the other junk that Snow White was supposed to do in the original. The end. Well, that was enlightened. Thank you. But the witch actually survived the vicious stabbing. It was just a flesh wound. Nope, stop. What? It was? I've had way worse. Can we please just get through this without any Monty Python references? Mm, you're no fun. Give me that. Mm. And so she decided to build a house out of candy and eat children. But, where did the dwarf come from? Exactly. The true secret origin here is that of dwarf number two. 
Which brings me into a little story I like to call number 95, The Devil's Grandmother. The devil has a grandmother? Everyone has a grandmother. And you need to call yours before she dies. I have a phone call to make. I thought she'd never leave. No. Before I start this very special story, I'd like us all to think about that special old person in our lives. You already know that, sir, don't you? <laughs> now, I want you to think about what it must be like to be old for a day, to have your body decay, your mind collapse. Tell us about this, sir. This man, <laughs> this man is so old he can't even speak. You must be his caretaker. I pity you. Now, this is a special presentation brought to you by the Hallmark Channel. Can we get like some soft, warm, fuzzy lighting in here, please? Like a soft, warm glow? Can you try that again, please? What is wrong? What is wrong with you? Yeah, I'm talking to you. You're, this is a special moment. You're ruining this very special moment here. What did you just say to me? This is a family show, you walking pile of putrescence. You don't even know what putrescence means, do you? You know why? Because you went to public school and they don't teach vocab anymore. Hey, where'd you get that picture of my mom? You're dead. My mother's the nicest woman I have ever met. And now, for a very special Hallmark Channel presentation, The Devil's Grandmother. Times were tough on the old farm. Now that your grandpa's dead, I'll just plant in this garden. It's all I've got left, really. A special garden. A garden of love. Grandmama, I heard about Grandpapa. Could you use a hug? Boy, could I. Uh, uh, air air hug. hug. And so began a very special relationship between a grandmother and her grandson, who just happened to be the devil. Can I help you plant those peas, Grandmama? Sure you can, grandson. Just don't let me catch you using that black magic of yours. Oh, Grandmama. <laughs> <laughs> Say, are your horns getting bigger? I'm growing up. So you are, so you are. But the garden couldn't stay green forever. Grandma, what happened? Do I know you? What? I'm your grandson, the devil. Where did I put my glasses? I'm afraid your grandmother has Alzheimer's. Do you have my glasses? No, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair, Grandmama. And so they decided to go on one last road trip together. I've always wanted to see the Grand Canyon. We'll make it there, even though I can't legally drive. Earthly laws have never stopped you before. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the wackiest road trip of their lives. Did you just burn Albuquerque to the ground by calling on the power of 80s? Oh, Grandmama. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't see anything. <laughs> and maybe, just maybe, they'd learn the power of the human heart. We ran out of gas, so I maybe stole a human heart and using it to power our car. Who are you again? But the greatest lesson would be when they reached the Grand Canyon. You know, grandson, me and your grandpa were simple people. We liked simple things. We were supposed to come out here for our honeymoon, but we never made it because there were too many chores to be done. Boy, he would have loved this view, though. Well, I could summon him from the dead and place his soul inside a coyote. Wouldn't be the same. Which coyote? <laughs> but even very special Hallmark Channel movies have sad endings. Grandma? <laughs> No. No, why, God, why? Because.
medical bills for dying, which amount to about $23,000. I curse you. And he shrank and shrank until he became quite small. In fact, a dwarf. Now go work in the mines with the rest of your kind. Yes, sir. You know what? I'm going to Disneyland to work there. One of those big costumes where you walk around and pretend to be one of the Disney characters. Except you won't know which one. So next time you see Chippendale walking towards you. And I'm back to prevent lawsuits. Too late! <laughs> well, we can't truly understand this story until we learn where the devil's grandmother came from. Can we just like pause for a second? Oh. how the Brothers Grimm recorded that story? Well, it's a bit of a modern adaptation. You know, we took a few liberties and... Okay, the real story is a couple of soldiers sign their soul away, but the devil, devil's grandmother feels sorry for them and blah, blah, blah. No one dies at the end. I just thought the title was funny. Okay. But how are we going to fit that into our narrative? No problem. Because long before she was the devil's grandmother, she was a little girl. Orphaned. Oh, I am sad. Can we just pause here for a second? Oh, how sad I am. Just hold on. What is it? There was like some really bad beef in the catering. Oh, the catering is bad. Oh, I, I... So everyone is throwing up back there. It, it, I, I had the beef. I. I yeah. Excuse me. Um, we don't have enough actors left to finish this one. So. What? All right. Guess we'll just skip it. Too bad about the frog prince, the talking shoe, Cinderella, literary. No, brotherhood. no. We are not skipping it. Uh, okay. Uh, how many actors do we have left then? Um, me. Now you listen here, you little reject from Nickelodeon. This is my chance to be a star, got it? We are going to tell my story. I'm going to get a full length feature film out of it. And you are going to make me look good. Got it? Well, uh -huh. Got it? Or I will tear out your tiny heart and use it as a chew toy for my half chihuahua, half Doberman mix. Got it? Yes, ma'am! Thank you. Oh, how sad. Life. So sad. So, uh, Cinderella's mother died. Mother? Where are you, mother? Are you dead? <laughs> and her father he married, but the woman he married was beautiful faced with black of heart. And she had two both equally beautiful daughters. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I think you've got that wrong. I'm the pretty one. They're, they're quite hideous. Says right here they're beautiful too. N no, I, I think I know my story, thank you. Oh, they are so mean to me. Oh, so mean. I can barely stand it. My tears, oh, so many tears shall wash these dusty flagstones. <laughs> but just then, her wicked stepsister, Giselle, entered. Look what the cat dragged in. Does it smell in here or is it just me? That was a good one, Giselle. But I like it. Oh, Cinderella, you need to get us ready for the ball. What ball? The ball being thrown by Prince Charming. He's so charming! When I see him, I just want to grab his tight-swearing bottom and squeeze it until his guard spray me with pepper spray. Can I come? Of course you can. <laughs> Not balls of free people who bathe. <laughs> but we do have a surprise for you! You're going to get us ready for the ball. <laughs> Make us pretty. Make me prettier than her. I need Charming. I need him. Please. I suppose. I'm going to need a lot of makeup. So being the good girl that she was. I'm so good. Cinderella got her stepsisters ready for the ball. 
I'm hot. I'm gorgeous! <laughs> Life! So unfair. The room is spinning. <laughs> why, God, why? Why am I just a servant? A slave? Lower than the dust? Lower than the worms who crawl beneath the dust? So low. So, so low. I shall now cry myself to sleep, as I do every night. And just then, her wicked stepmother entered. Why, Cinderella, what seems to be the problem? Life. Life and the misery it entails. If only my mother, my poor, dear, dead mother were alive, she would take me to the ball. Come here and sit on your stepmother's lap. <sighs> that, that's weird. Get over it. Do it. Uh, Whatever. <laughs> now, you really have been hitting the pot roast, haven't you? <laughs> you think sitting by the hearth and eating dust all day would make you skinny? I, I'm big boned. And just then, her wicked stepsister, Giselle, entered. <gasps> Mother, are you coming? In a moment, dear. Run along. Other wicked stepsister entered from the other side. <laughs> I really need to be going. You do that, witch! What did you just call me? You heard what I said, witch! Oh, it's on. <laughs> Girls, stop! You're both pretty. You're both going to the ball. You both need to exit. Right now, without saying anything else. <laughs> and so, they left. Now, Cinderella, I am a fair, wicked stepmother. So, I will empty an entire dish of lentils into the fireplace. And once you have picked them up, you may go to the ball. <laughs> and so, she dumped an entire dish of lentils into the fireplace like she said she was going to do. What are lentils? They go in soup. And they're hard to get out of fireplaces, apparently. Yeah. Do I have to play each individual bird? Or can I be like the birds collectively? I guess you can be like a collective group of birds. You have no idea how much that means to me. lentils out of the fireplace. Peck, peck, peck. Oh, I am truly blessed. Thank you, birds. Fly. Fly to freedom. <laughs> We're off to the ball. How can life be so cruel? Why? But what's that? What could it be? My fairy, it's another swarm of birds. Carrying a dress. What a, what a lovely dress. Thank you. Swarm of birds. So, who's going to do my hair? Um, what a surprise, a fairy godmother. Isn't this where she sort of comes in and does her magic thing? Nope. What? There's no fairy godmother. We're going by the original. It's just a bunch of birds. Tweet, tweet. Shut up! Let me see that. But this is my book. I'm the narrator. I go by this book. My, my book!
There's no fairy godmother in here. I was about 11 when I found out I didn't have a fairy godmother. Well, <laughs> I can't do this without a fairy godmother. Who's going to turn the pumpkin into a coach? You walk there. What? This is stupid. I'm Cinderella. I have a fairy godmother, and a pumpkin turned into a coach, and a bunch of mice turned into coachmen. Oh, so there's no mice either, is there? Well, next thing you know, there won't even be a glass slipper. There's no glass slipper? <laughs> well, then I just don't even know how the story goes anymore. Maybe I just get beheaded at the end. I just get beheaded at the end? I don't know. I haven't read to the end yet. Oh, I quit. Ugh. Well, I guess somebody's not getting an Oscar. Well... Let's just continue with our story. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't continue. There's no Cinderella. Sure there is. Put on the dress, Sophie. <laughs> so Cinderella had a dress, and she felt very pretty. I feel very pretty. <laughs> Thank you, birds. Now I shall go to the ball. But the ball was guarded by a one-armed, eye-patch-wearing, Scottish pirate named Mac. Arg! What do we doing at this here ball? If it's not Scottish, it's crap! I would like to get in, please. Shut her! But just then, her wicked stepmother and two wicked stepsisters arrived. <laughs> Cinderella. What are you doing here? You suck! I have a dress, and I'm going to the ball, because the birds brought it to me. And then the birds came down and pecked out Mac's other eye. Peck, peck, peck. Ah! Birds! My eye! I'm in. Sweet. But just then. Dun, 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 dun. His Royal Highness, the Prince. Right oh, we're having a nice time, are we? <laughs> Blimey. Who's the mix? I'm Cinderella. Right oh. Come here and give me a taste, love. <laughs> oh, Prince! Stop it! You're embarrassing me! I'll do more than that later. Blimey. Your skin's as supple as a baby's bottom. Oh really? I'd like to roast you over an oven pit and eat you like a brown and tender chicken breast. This is getting weird. <laughs> I'm like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I'm just gonna say one thing. I'm pretty impressed with her. Maybe she should win an Oscar. Oh, Prince, you dance divinely. What's all this then? And they danced all night long. <laughs> what are these strange feelings? Could it be love? Oh, my heart is beating so fast. What am I to do? Will he love me back? Uh, <laughs> question. Wasn't I supposed to drop a slipper or something? Nope. You drop a slipper on your third trip to the prince's balls. The birds keep bringing you dresses, and you keep going, and you keep dancing. And then the prince smears pitch on the steps of the palace, uh, and your shoe sticks. Your, your golden shoe, by the way. Golden shoe? Yeah. And then he finds it, picks it up, and goes looking around the kingdom for a girl that fits the shoe. Huh. That does sound more comfortable than glass. <laughs> Let's get to that part, because I'm going to die. You know what, Sophie? Why don't you just put in a little effort here? OK, this is just, OK, a little of this, a little of that. Uh, the prince finds the shoe and goes looking for the girl that fits it. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> I was just wondering if any of the ladies in this here house fit into the shoe. Well, I, ooh, I'd like to try it on, please. Do you mind if I try it on the, in the bathroom? I'm a little shy. Right oh. Take all the time you need, love. Excellent. And of course, the shoe didn't fit. So, she cut off her big toe. <laughs> Is everything all right in there? It's fun. See? It fights. Bangers and mash. All right then, opening a carriage. 
Let's get married! But as they were riding... <laughs> Say, do you feel something strange? Blimey, there's blood everywhere! I popped a zit <laughs> on my foot! You cut off your tongue, didn't you? I never had toes! Get out of me, carrot! And so, the wicked stepsister returned home, and the prince returned to find the other wicked stepsister. Do you mind if I try the shoe on in the bathroom where no one else is watching? Right oh. Take all the time you need, love. I'm not all that bright. Excellent! And again, the shoe didn't fit. So she did the only sensible thing and cut off her heel. Ah, son of a mother witch! Language. Is everything all right in there? See? It, it fits! I love you! All right then, let's go! I'm up in the carriage! It's, it's fine! <laughs> Say, do you smell that? I'm not terribly observant either. Blimey! There's blood everywhere! I, I, I am, I shaved my foot! I am hairy feet! Like a hobbit! <laughs> you cut off your heel, didn't you? I did it for you! <laughs> Get out of the carriage! And, well, she did. And she returned home, and the prince returned for the last time to find Cinderella. Hello there. I realize that several of the ladies in this here house have tough out body parts to fit into this here shoe. But I was just wondering if anyone else fit into it. You see, I'm not all that bright, but I make up for it by being consistent. It makes me ideal to run for government. I will try the shoe. It's it! My love! It is you! It is I. And they lived happily ever after. And the birds came down and pecked out the wicked stepsister's eyes, just for fun. Peck. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I thought you had the beef. Oh, no. We were all fine. We just wanted to see if she could do it. Well, that's not very nice. Eh, uh, what can you do? Well, I guess it's time for the lightning round recap then. It is? Of course, or else no one would be able to follow the narrative. I say we redo the entire show in, um, about two minutes? Ready? I was born ready. All right, and go! Cinderella got pregnant. Ah! Heavens! After they were married. Joyous day. And then, her, and then her child married a demon. This is your fault. And then she got old. I am old now. Grandson! You're losing your mind because you're old. You're the devil! I know! Ah! I curse you. I'm a dwarf. Uh, I need little person now. Hey, I was thinking, let's start our own dwarf quiz and fill it to start our dwarf quiz. That's friend. a great idea. Ah, it's your own party. Ah, a dwarf, little person. Hey, how about this? You, how about you clean up after us and take us in at night? Uh, you're not going to impress me. I'm hotter than you. I don't judge myself by my looks, and I'm still hotter than you. Want to fight about it? Yes. Your kung fu is stronger than mine. What's going on here? I'm an emancipated princess, and I'm gonna take what I want. You. I'm not dead yet. I said no, Monty Python! Hey, Beth eats at Lady's house. That's a great idea. How about I eat you first? How about I push you in an oven and you die? I'm dying, but in an ironic way. Hey, look, I'm having a child. Oh no, I'm dying in childbirth. Darn it. Somehow, I'm poor.
helicopter. And I hope this contract I signed with the devil doesn't have any repercussions. <laughs> You'll find out. The end.